Hello and welcome, this is your boy Jack here to do another reaction video, this time I'll be reacting to the Continental Cypher put together by the one and only Cal Dudera of Sierra Leone. Uh, apparently this cypher, I was wondering why it was called the Continental Cypher and after I took a look at the uh, featured artists in it, it sort of made sense. You have Lurka Joe from Ghana, Cal Dudera from Sierra Leone, Max Cortez from Tanzania, you have King B from Cameroon. Scientific from Liberia, Shadow Boxer, obviously from Sierra Leone, and did I say Ciro? Yeah, Ciro from Uganda. Uh, of all the artists actually listed over here, there are only, uh, let's see, I only know three of them actually. That will be Cardinero, Lyrica Joe, and to an extent Ciro. Ciro, I've been meaning to actually do a reaction of his work, but I've never actually gotten around to doing so. But I think I'll probably, let's just see how he, how he performs among all these featured artists. Actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to check him out in the not-so-distant future, and hopefully I'll share my experience, my reactions with you guys on this platform. So, anyway, rather than continue talking about this, let's just get right down to it. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm trying to get all these things done. As I promised, I was going to get it out within uh, 48 hours, almost 48 hours ago, and I thought, you know what, let's just get this done, and I will do my best to recover all right so without further ado let's get this reacting party started this is the continental cipher brought together by cal de Nero. all right so let's begin momix momix First off, I gotta say, whoever, I think it says Momix, but I'm not quite sure if that's exactly his name, the name, but whoever actually created the beat, absolutely fantastic. It's very moving, energetic. It's just there in your face, the bass. I always love bass in my in track that I listen to, and it's just absolutely, you know, there and it works. All right, um, talking so much, let's just get right back to the beginning and continue from there. So, here we are. I gotta say, I love the beat. That's all lish the beast. Bring your best, make it tighter. The least MC anytime they bring the mic up. Make sure you're ready, MC, when you step, make it dope. Don't get it, they run blood. But the man is still to joke, the cipher, the cipher. Uh huh, uh huh. Basically, tell everyone to get ready. They step down the mic. They gotta bring the A game up. All right, let's let's do this. Tell can beat the instrumental. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. The cipher, the cipher. Continental can beat detrimental Look, the splat detrimental Come 2022, I'm gonna be your pandemic Spread like a wildfire I don't think you niggas ready While you hide behind the mask Pretend like you are rabbit I'm dogging out the content You ready to all mimic I don't I love that I mean, he, the fact that he tied in the whole I'm, That is zero, if I'm not mistaken And he also tied I love his line The fact that he tied in the whole pandemic To Arabic hiding behind the mask as you can see the mask we're talking about the uh you know how the religious women from the arabic countries actually hide behind a veil basically and uh, well they're behind a veil and then we have the whole pandemic with the covid you have to wear a mask so that whole that ties in very well with the uh, with line this game's pretty good i really love what they did there so Shout out to Ciro. If I'm not mistaken, that's him. That's Ciro from Uganda. So, brilliant. I really do need to actually check him out. So, I'm just going to take it back to the beginning. I really love what he's done so far. Continental can be detrimental Look, the splat detrimental Come 2022, I'm gonna be your pandemic Spread like a wildfire I don't think you niggas ready While you hide behind the mask Pretend like you are rabbit I'm dogging out the content You ready to all mimic I don't call myself Messiah I mess what you desire Yell about the feminine women And hope to escape the fire You liars I am not the keeper of commandments But I can tell you on your last sin And he is not impressed He's sending <laughs> I'm not a keeper of the last commandment. Okay, all right. I was like, hold on. I got to take get that line back again. I mean, so far, he's like, this next year, he's going to actually take over the 
airwaves because it's like a pandemic spread and, and we had the whole mask skin over there too which is really beautiful all right i'm sorry the feminine women and hope to escape the fire you liars i am not the keeper of commandments but i can tell you on your last sin and he is not impressed he's sending Moses down the mountain with a tablet found you worshiping tiktok in 10 different languages y'all about the numbers me i'm about the currency and once i touch babylon up i'll take no apologies i got and then now he has the whole like biblical scheme over there. We talk about the Moses, the rhyme schemes, the Babylon, the different languages, the worship. It it's like it's it's really like I even wow okay, this is gonna um, obviously based on just what Sirius has done so far. This is actually gonna be quite a long reaction video, so I do apologize if you haven't actually listened to this track. I would struggle recommend you go to the link down below and listen to it because obviously I'm very much impressed with what i've heard so far and i'm going to be pausing quite a bit to decipher what's been said obviously i'm going to miss quite a bit but it's still pretty good and this is just the first track so you've been warned Rest. He's sending Moses down the mountain with a tablet. Found you worshiping TikTok in ten different languages. Just about the numbers. Me, I'm about the currency. And once I touch Babylon, up, I'll take no apologies. I got pictures not in Georgia, but in Africa. You're not ready. Revolution won't be televised. It's already in motion. Picture perfect in portion. To the wind is the caution. This is new enterprise. This is trip music. Time to show them all my moves. You wanna walk him all, but I really don't think you can do it in my shoes. I never had to walk around with a chip on your shoulder since 22. Got them even back then when I was a young and I know how to point to prove. You never had a point. All right, walk into your chip to sh your shoulder in 22. Okay, I really love that. He's basically saying he's already had the chip in his shoulder. He's still, wait, he's still walking with a chip on his shoulder and he's going to continue. He's been doing so for as long as he can remember because he's actually that good. I also love the fact, if I'm not mistaken, where he actually talks about TikTok and everything. So I'm thinking in a way he's actually tying that, you know, to the worshiping of idols, uh, false idol and idols, Twitters and all those things and views. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Obviously, if I'm wrong, then I do apologize, but I think that's what he's trying to come get across over there, and I'm really digging it. Get him on my moves, yo. And yes, I did say digging. Hold on, let's just take a little bit back. When is the caution? This is new enterprise. This is trip music. Time to shut him on my moves. You wanna walk him all, but I really don't think you can do it in my shoes. I never had to walk around with a chip on your shoulder since 22. Got them even back then when I was a young and I know how to point to prove. You never had a point. You never stood for something not right. Remember days when we would stay up, working all night. They don't know us, they know the music, not about the spotlight. Try to do it better, built it all to last the right the roads. What is bullshit? All right, so basically that was Ciro doing his thing, talking about, I love the fact that he was like, he's, he's going to have the chip on the shoulder in 2022, and at the same time, he's already had a chip on his shoulder since he was 22, and he's actually writing, performing music, giving, putting it out there, not for the sake of views or whatever, but basically for, to actually elevate the state of music as it is, so kudos to him all right so i don't know who's next let's just see how that goes but so far sirot has done an absolutely fantastic job and i definitely will be checking him out in the not so distant future all right let's continue Get to a matador, bringing your new shit you can't get roots i'm a dinosaur a connoisseur hip-hop coming to rap cannibal all right i'm gonna take that back that sounds like king b of cameroon um, all right let's see let's take it back I had a point that never stood for something not right remember days when we would stay up working all night they don't know us they know the music not about the spotlight try to do it better built it all to last the right the roads what is bullshit to a matador bringing your new shit you can't get roots i'm a dinosaur a connoisseur hip-hop coming to rap cannibal tango all right, sorry. I'm sorry. I love that opening sequence. What's the bullshit to a matador? Obviously, we all know, if you don't know who a matador is, are those bullfighters in the, in the um in the ring, waving the flags, the red flags to you know direct the bulls, and you have the bullshit that he continues with that whole ripe scheme talking about animals, where he inf infers that the people are kangaroo while he is actually a dinosaur and there's a similarity sort of between a kangaroo and a dinosaur in terms of how they actually well it depends on if he's talking about a t-rex so or it okay this is where i have a little problem because most people don't really realize that kangaroos are actually quite dangerous also they, they may look cute or whatever but 
those hooves are really, really, really sharp and deadly. If they attack you, most likely it will kill you. So I'm not quite sure exactly what he's going with with that. I mean, yes, he says kangaroo. You, they're kangaroos and he's a dinosaur, but I'm like, dinosaurs are extinct. So I'm not quite sure exactly what he's trying to pull out. Is it talking about power, size? You know what? You guys will let me know in the comments down below. Let's just take it a little bit back. It's a really weird line for me. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking things. I don't know. All right. You kangaroos, I'm a dinosaur, a connoisseur, hip hop, coming to rap, cannibal, 10 goes to zero. I'm giving headers to kind of score artillery. I'm arm ducked and I'm arrogant, archery. Your bullets can't touch with my arrow skin. I'm the African hip hop with an AK to it. Your bullets can touch where my arrows can. That's very interesting play. It's like he's going against type. You know, you would think someone would prefer a bullet to an arrow. Interesting, interesting, interesting thought there. All right. Goes to zero. I'm giving headers to kind of score artillery. I'm arm ducked and I'm arrogant. Archery. Your bullets can't touch where my arrow skin. I'm the African hip hop with an AK to a Taliban. Go search the weapon, find me like I'm Spider Man. A man really becomes exactly what it thinketh. So better not go against your will like Jada Pinketh. Looking for greener pastures. Watch out for the wicked. Cause the okay. Um. I love the take the throwback to actually see Rhodes talking about, you know, Arabic and then you talking about I know I'm making a leap here and I'm not saying uh, the Taliban the association I'm just associating Middle East. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say there. So he talks about the uh, Middle East a uh, Taliban and then we talk here and see what talks about um, Arabic and you know that's a Middle East motif and they're kind of piggybacking back and forth from each other, which is very interesting. And I love what he says, something about Will and Jada. Let's just take it back Not there. Not go against your will like Jada Pinkett, looking for green. Not go against your will like Jada Pinkett. As we all know, Will Smith's married to Jada Pinkett. Not go against your will like Jada. Interesting. All right, let's see where he's going with that. Exactly what it thinketh, so better not go against your will, like Jada Pinketh, think looking it, for green it. pastures. Watch out for the wicked, cause the grass got snakes and rats and little crickets. I'm from Cameroon, I'm not alone. <laughs> okay, love that. I was like, yeah, people are watching out for greener pastures, but you you gotta realize that those grasses have snakes and rats, so you have to be very careful and they look like it's greener pasture, but it's not the hidden dangers there. For the wicked, cause the grass got snakes and rats and little crickets. I'm from Cameroon, I'm not alone. I'm bringing Sierra Leone, I got the bone. Being patient, this dark is really known. Who on the throne? Let it be known, I come to set the tone. If Tyra still got bangs, tell her I'm coming for a loan. Enjoy my own rap. If Tyra, <laughs> if Tyra still got bangs, tell her I'm coming for the rounds. And we all know who Tyra Banks is. For those of you who don't know, she's a talk host, actress, um, host of um, America Next Top Model big um franchise now and has different branches so yeah her name is tyra banks and she's been around and i love that play in what she did he did that first with jado and jacob pinkett and will now ended it with tyra banks and the one brilliant all right so now i think the next person in this would be let's see most likely lyrical joe Known I come to set the tone if Tyra still got bangs, tell her I'm coming for a loan. Enjoy my own raps, lyrical masturbation, immune to other genres, musical vaccination, intoxications in different nations brings the question. Hip hop illiterate, come get your education. That's all lish the beast, bring your best make I do apologize, that was still King V, not Lyrica Joe. Um, so now we have Carl De Niro and I completely missed that. <laughs> Wondering why Lyrica Joe sounded weird. A different to other genres musical vaccination intoxications in different nations brings the question hip-hop illiterate come get your education that's all this okay. this bring your Is best make it tight up the least mc anytime then bring the mic up make sure you're ready mc when you step make it dope don't get the run blood but the man is no to joke the cypher the cypher continental can beat the mental ready to splash instrumental cypher the cypher Continental can be detrimental, ready to splash instrumental. Rap will no more be your hand job when I fire arms. Two, two. I spit that yeah. kind of food for thought that makes a heavy man. Two, two. Yours will be your hand. Continental can Sorry guys, I I was expecting Lyrica Joe and I've, I've been sort of a fan of Lyrica Joe because I think his words, his schemes are really quite interesting and entertaining. So um, let's do that again. 
beat detrimental, ready to splat instrumental. Rap will no more be your hand job when I fire arms. Two, two. I spit the kind of food for thought that makes a heavy man. Y'all spitting noodles like you wrote it in Arabic, huh? You a okay, there you go. Talking about the whole Arabic thing now, dude. Now, this is the third um, artist who's actually made mention to the whole style. Well, we all know the associations between Zero and King B. I didn't mix, I didn't really get what he said during the first thing about arms. And he goes tutu, which is, <laughs> well, unexpected. But interesting goes well. Splash instrumental, cypher to cypher. Continental can be detrimental, ready to splash instrumental. Rap will no more be your hand job when I fire arms. Tutu. I Rap will be no more when I hand job when I fire arms. Okay, no, I didn't catch that. Detrimental, ready to splash instrumental. Rap will no more be your hand job when I fire arms. Two, two. I spit the kind of food for thought that makes a heavy man. Two. All right, you know what? I, I'm still not catching what he's saying in the beginning, so we'll just continue from there. I think he said something about rapping, no hand jobs with fire arm. I mean, I get the arm part, you know, arm, gun, arm, no arms. Oh, did he just say he fires <laughs> arms, whatever, without actually an arm? As in without guns, he fires it with words? I, I didn't get that. You know what? We'll just continue because otherwise I'm just going to keep going back and forth behind that. You guys will let me know in the comments down below what he actually stated in the opening. So, let's just... Apple, no more be your hand job when I fire arms. Two, two. I spit the kind of food for thought that makes a heavy man. Y'all spitting noodles like you wrote it in Arabic, huh? You a chicken, so I'm cutting ties when it's time to drum. <laughs> okay, you're a chicken, so I'm cutting ties, as in ties. Uh, cutting ties, and at the same time, thighs and chicken, and drums all right so uh oh i think i have to go back i'm sorry that's really really interesting what he's doing there because he does talk about he, he does he's using the food scheme over there so you had the noodles spitting noodles then you have the chicken and then interesting so far i'll be your hand job when i fire arms no hand job. i spit the kind of food for thought that makes a heavy man y'all spitting noodles like you wrote it in arabic huh you a chicken so i'm cutting ties when it's time to drum Peace. <laughs> tell will give Jeddah a kiss if you having a problem with my style slash your pee but y'all ain't go okay did you just see that uh, he's not tying it back to king b where he talks about give will Jeddah a kiss you have will spit you have Jada. oh you could actually go Jada kiss so Jada kiss as in you know the artist Jada kiss so i love it it's it's really interesting what they're doing here Tell will give Jeddah a kiss if you having a problem with my style slash your pee, but y'all ain't going in. I'm still keeping the locks. If I should back out, I will give Jeddah the keys. I'm the okay, and then he brings in the locks and you give Jeddah the keys. It's like ask Will to give Jeddah a kiss, or you could think of it as Jeddah kiss. And then he talks about the locks. I will talk about the artist, the group known as Locks. If I'm Oh, this is gonna be a pain. One more time, guys, and I s promise I won't. I won't pause it anymore. I'll just continue regardless of whether or not I catch it. Will give Jada a kiss if you having a problem with my style slash your pee, but y'all ain't going in. I'm still keeping the locks. If I should back out, I will give Jada the keys. I'm the truth, poking nose in every lie like Pinocchio. But even in the darkness, I'm like yes, ahead of you. She was poking lies in the dark. Uh, I'm poking lies. Like I'm Pinocchio. Okay, that's great. So he basically said he exposes lies, like Pinocchio. No, whenever the nose grows long on his lies, so he exposes that. And he said something about light years and dark. Nose in every lie, like Pinocchio. But even in the darkness, I'm light years ahead of you. Even in the darkness, I'm light years ahead of you. Okay, that is that is brilliant line i really love that i was like even in the dark i'm still light years ahead of you it's like you're that nah, it's like you're done basically you can't stand up to me you're nothing next to me and he does have the lyrical chops to actually uh, make such a statement i think all right let's continue Poking nose in every lie like Pinocchio, but even in the darkness, I'm like yes ahead of ya. She want a rough rider, I go DMX on them and have her morning in the night like 12 a.m. Who the fuck y'all bringing in? They brought three thousands, but I'm too Andre, I'm the Giants. This is my show. Teaching y'all what the. 
oh wow, he just ate Rough Rider, DMX, then he talked about Andre, three, he made mention of the 3000, then Andre as in from the um, uh, Outcast, and at the same time, he actually tied that to Andre the Giant, the WWE, the former WWE wrestler. It's it's a brilliant work with what he's doing over there. Really enjoy that. And yes, I know I'm taking about 10 seconds. I do apologize. Let's just try it once more and we continue. I got DMX on them and I've had morning in the night like 12 a.m. Who the fuck y'all bringing in? They brought three thousands, but I'm too Andre. I'm the Giants. This is my show. Teaching y'all what the matters and the science. You just went crazy though, but this is good music without a bipolar CEO. I'm clapping top fives with high fives. No penetrating Joe. I built a great wall by my eyes. In China, though, beast. Did he just make mention? Oh, did he just take a shot at Kanye West? If I, I don't, I'm not really quite sure about that. It was like he said something about this is music without being bipolar, as we all know, Kanye. You just went crazy, though, but this is good music without a bipolar CEO. I'm clapping top fives. This is crazy music without a bipolar feel. So I guess he's stuck. I'm I'm, just, I'm making a leak there, thinking he's actually making referencing referencing Kanye West. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. We'll just continue. I fight no penetrating Joe. I built a great wall by my artistry in China, though beast. Dope. I killed enough. I don't need no other body. Just gems, truly. My essence tell me this rap is softer than Thames booty. This is diver. All right, my essence tell me that this rap is softer than Thames booty. I don't know who Thames is, but I'm assuming that's. A woman, I mean, most likely a personality from one of the African Asians. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to fly in this day and age, especially with the whoever the person is. All right, let's find it. We can see it as a compliment. Who knows? All right. Just gems, truly. My essence tell me this rap is softer than Thames booty. This I'm sorry. I'm just going to take it back to the beginning. Let's start that again. Music without a bipolar CEO. I'm clapping top fives with high fives. No penetrating Joe. I built a great wall by my artistry in China. Though beast. Though beast. I killed enough. I don't need no other body. Just gems truly. My essence tell me this rap is softer than Thames booty. This is diverse. First you die for you see else when I'm here. Your arson know is made for bench duty. It's Africa's king. I'm on go viral mode. I co-sign your goats. Find it dope. I lay the lines on the table to keep they ghost riders hopes high expose the dose I chose stronger than a folk molly quote this low budget grandma want a tongue twist with no clarity nobody cares you capping snap back to reality actually they ain't effective G it's really sad this little kids don't get to the other side vasectomy <laughs> okay I know he said quite a bit in the beginning I do apologize for the positive I kind of lost train of thought I was trying to get into the, his rhythm which is slightly different his cadence which is slightly different but i really really love the line whereby he talks about the kids uh, behind the wall like um like said me uh, well snipped let's just put it that way so i really love the tie-in over there uh let's just take it once more back to the beginning and then uh, we'll continue from there vasectomy that's what i was trying to say and it kind of slipped my mind all right the dose I chose stronger than a folk molly quote. This low budget grammar want a tongue twist with no clarity. Nobody cares, you capping. Snap back to reality. Actually, they ain't effective. G, it's really sad. This little kids don't get to the other side. Vasectomy, fuck a big break. Been driving so fast. Quick game, I'ma play this shit till I'm an old man. Load your nest, the elephant in the room be wilding on cam. I'm a blessing if you don't see a plus, hide the program. I kind of like it. I mean, basically, he's stating that, um. He's not here to rush. He's gonna do it. Take his time. Get to the end. He's gonna be an old man. He's still gonna be there as long. As, I mean, the only way you can actually end up being in the game as long as to to be there as long as possible is by consistently bringing out fresh ideas, fresh, brilliant ideas, rather than you know. <laughs> What's the time I was going for? I was going to say, you know, like a, like a um, water in a hot frying pan. You, you, bur you burst out brightly, then you just fizzle out in the end pretty fast. So basically, he's here for the long run. Um, so I like it. I like it. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and check this 
Let's continue to cipher once this reaction video is over because I am running way longer than I intended. So let's just continue and get this over and done with. Polish the beast, bring your best, make it tighter. up. The Lias MC and it's them bring the mic cup. Make sure you're ready, MC, when you step, make it dope. Don't guide the run, blood. Body man is still to joke, the cipher, the cipher. Continental can beat the mental, ready to splash the mental, cipher, the cipher. Continental, baby. I'm writing eulogies, Africa. Yes, your algorithm, soccer DS says, Sans, you a legend. That's forbidden body. This all I need is one mic. All right, basically, what he's saying is that Sir Cody, one of Africa's greatest hip hop artists, stated that he is actually scientific, is actually great, and that's verbatim. It's like, I'm not the one who can prop him up myself saying I'm great. One of the greats actually saying that I am great. So, there you go. The rhythm, soccer dear says, Sans, you a legend, that's forbidden body. This all I need is one mic, zero prepping. I'm oh, no. blueprints to walk different, I'm you were stepping. Reality, all right. He just made reference one mic, which is Nas, then he mentioned blueprint, which is Jay Z, and you have that whole beef between. All right, all right, all right. I see where you're going with that. Sweet, this Let's one go. mic, zero prepping. I'm blueprints to walk different, I'm you were stepping. Reality, your kryptonite, and y'all ain't got a clues. A Nazi to a Holocaust, I'll be dropping juice. I'm least pop. concerned with how much glitz and glam cost. Verse so hard, I stab my pillows for Ben Soft. Pull up in the G550, what the blood clot? Sick in it with gears, fresher than the Listerine shot. Got scars to open wounds, bars from old broken homes. Cars with no silver spawn, sauce, leave that shit alone. Uh, yesterday's price is not the day's <laughs> price. Since tomorrow ain't promise, I've been dumped. Nice I'm a dark cloud hovering over you. It's about to rain fire. So aiming Shout at the stars for me, you need to aim higher. A dragon from another world, I let the flame boast. Cause when I get hungry, I eat self-proclaimed goats. I'm that <laughs> guy, but I'm sure a man's rich. When I'm hungry, I eat self-proclaimed goats. I was like people who are claiming to be the goats of all time whenever they come next to me, I eat them up. All right, who's that? Is that Shadow Boxer? Well, that is weird because it's still five minutes in and all right, let's just continue. Some prayers give us a nasty lyricist who handsome and clear. I'm here. I came to hold the game ransom and I dare nigga try. I'm alive, nigga. Why? Now it don't matter the room I'm in. Drop the boom. You gonna die in the room I'm in. Straight from the source. All facts. Don't assume I'm him. Cause taking me out's gonna take M A N Y men. I'm F R I can take the load on. Fuck being politically correct. This me in my land running Rome. My Italy connect would wrap that ass up. Ain't shit drop. Sorry, I gotta take it back. I'm loving what he's saying. I'm missing a lot of it, but I love his cadence and the way he's saying it, which is very interesting. Too uh, handsome and clear. I'm here. I came to hold the game ransom and I dare. Nigga, try. I'm alive. Nigga, why? Now it don't matter the room I'm in. Drop the boom. You gonna die in the room I'm in. Straight from the source. All facts. Don't assume I'm him. Cause taking me out is gonna take M A N Y men. I'm F R I can take the load on. Fuck being politically correct. This me in my land running Rome. My Italy can neck would wrap that ass up ain't shit dropping y'all niggas backed up choose to go against that is bad luck build up i love that it's like if you choose to go against me it's backed up um basically what he's talking about is like whatever you do you drop a bomb in the middle in the room with me and you take a shot at me i'm still gonna I'm still going to be the last man standing basically because i am that good i love the part he talked about taking and he said taking the shit and then back up as in, you know, well, let's just listen to that line again once more. Cause taking me out's gonna take M A N Y men. I'm F R I can take the load on. Fuck being politically correct. This me in my land running Rome. My Italy connect would wrap that ass up. Ain't shit dropping. Y'all niggas backed up. Choose to go. He started out with a load that you know, like ain't shit dropping. You niggas backed up. So you can out. <laughs> That's a whole toilet scheme <laughs> going on over there. Really loving that. All right, let's continue. Against that is bad luck. B.O. double. Continental can beat the uh -huh. mental. Red to the splash it. Now shadow box. Cipher the cipher. <laughs> Continental <laughs> can beat the mental. Red to the splash it. Mental. Uh, you miss you, bro. I'm not the one you wanna come at. When I diss rappers, they will never get a comeback. Ready for comeback? Yeah. Sipping my cognac liquor. Fuckers wanna take me for joke. Better one that nigga. Possessed enough integrity. Big dog status pedigree. Head shot like you Kennedy. Different spices. Scientists like physics rip them in pieces. Yeah, you softer than Tiffany, politicians beefing me, pissing them. All right, now they're talking about Tiffany. All right, anyway, I have to say, this is kind of the I mean, he's a clear example of actually someone who was in the game for the longest of time. He 
kept on at it until i mean now he's he's everywhere it's like he kept he kept grinding and grinding hard and finally he's actually able to gather all this notable artists together in a cipher on and presented on christmas day it's like it's he's come a long way he's i guess a clear example of what happens when you continue you do your job do your best grow and ultimately you're going to get the accolades if you persist and have luck on your side I'm a proper sick of me. I'm an EMC star when I hold the mic, pimping on the sunnies, sort of like I'm Dolo. Oh, fuck with me, you crash tonight, Paul Walker. I'm a boss, cow, oh, nigga. Oh, no, you no, you didn't. I send my guns to touch you, fucker. You gonna suffer. Fuck with me. Oh, God. The Paul Walker. Okay, um, basically, you all know Paul Walker. Fast and Furious franchise died in a car accident. So, there you go. It's, it's a horrible... The cause of death was actually not of a blunt force trauma. He actually died from being burned, which is not a pleasant way to go. Rapping free time and Philly moves like a New Yorker. Fuck the gun talk, you pussy, you won't boss boy. Got my knees on your neck, George Floyd. Illness in the continent, they can't fuck with us, boy. Who wanted? Fuck solo, put your crew on it. Killing all. And he just injected both go things happening here in the States with the whole George Floyd uh, incident with the knee on the neck. All right. Alright. Then they can't fuck with us, boy. Who won it? Fuck solo, put your crew on it. Killing all these rappers, even if they're 200. I'm too blunted. You know what it is. I make your crew run it. You can't find a diaper rapper. This cipher about to scatter. Donald Trump on the mic, nigga. Yeah, you my great toucher. Killing all this weak MCs, my favorite chapter. Pack it up. I'm not quite sure being Donald Trump is so, I mean, honest. Con considering yourself Donald Trump is actually a good Thing, then again it all depends on how you look at it so there you go and Margaret Thatcher yeah she's she was known as the Iron Lady <laughs> um, so she really did uh, she's also had this whole love-hate relationship in the UK so I guess that's an interesting comparison but in terms of who in my opinion is better I would say Thatcher better than trump that's my uh, opinion um if you guys disagree with me well you know what to say but again that's just my opinion there so please go right ahead hey, you my great tatcha killing all this weak mcs my favorite chapter pack it up faggot you're dealing with a big boss status quick to spit touch artists uh -huh. and fuck them up cow the never the king black clear we touch them up all lish the beast bring your best make it tights up deadly smc anytime they bring the mic up make sure you're ready mc when you step make it dope don't get the run blood body man is no to joke the cypher the cypher uh -huh, uh -huh. continental can beat the uh -huh. mental ready to splash uh -huh. instrumental cypher the cypher Continental can beat detrimental, ready to splash instrumental. I really enjoyed it. I particularly. Oh no, this is it, right? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully, there is nothing more. Alright, I don't see it. It's just longer than it should be. Alright. So yes, um, so far I really did enjoy it. I thought it was great. I particularly love C Road's um, uh, verse. I thought it was actually quite interesting, and I can't wait to actually check out more stuff from him. I think everyone did a fantastic job. I love um, Lyrical Joe's really weird take on it, more of a playful take on his verse. Uh, well, to me, it sounded playful. I'm not, I'm not saying it, that's that was his intention, but the fact that he goes tutu, take an arm off, and ties it. So the concept, the imagery that his lyrics actually inv uh, invoked in me felt more playful than the rest. So he is also a very interesting stand-up. But you have Cal Dinero, who I think is a fantastic lyricist. His style is reminiscent of more of an old school uh, flavor. So that's. A standout in my opinion so that's really good that's very interesting I'm not 100 percent certain <laughs> um um what was it called that i agree with everything he said but it's very interesting take and i really enjoy it i thought it's a very different style from the rest they actually all present a different style and again i did i'm not quite sure was it king b who was talking about the dinosaur and the um 
kangaroo thing. That kind of threw me off. I wasn't quite sure exactly where he was going with that. And I'm hoping you guys would actually let me know in the comments down below because that's very interesting. Uh, as I said, kangaroos may look cute, but they're very deadly when provoked. So, um, and then again, he's compared himself to dinosaur. And I'm like, okay, yes, I get it. Dinosaurs are supposed to be this big... Mm, well, the different kinds of smaller ones and whatever. So he didn't actually specify which kind of dinosaur it is. So it could be anyone. And also the fact that dinosaurs are extinct and kangaroos are still alive. I'm not quite sure where he was going with that. So I'm overthinking it. I know, but it was still stuck in the back of my mind about that. Shadowbox, I, um, I really do need to actually go back and check out his uh, stuff because he was saying quite a bit. And, and I ha was having... A hard time assimilating everything he was saying, and the same goes for um, was it scientific? Um, anyway, you guys have checked out the call. I really enjoyed that. Though this was actually a pretty good cipher, and I'm glad I got a chance to actually check it out. And I do apologize for taking this long to actually get this out there. Again, I've been busy, and when I wanted to start it, <laughs> I obviously fell. I fell sick. And no, it's not COVID. It's actually just a regular flu. Uh, so I've been a little bit weird and that's why my voice sounds a bit off than normal. <laughs> and so, yeah, so here we are. Anyway, this was great. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you on my next reaction video. So with that said, this is your boy, Jack. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. Let's you know when next I drop a new video. Don't forget to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to react to. If you've got nothing to say, just say, hey, that's absolutely okay. If you disagree with what I've said during this reaction video or wish to expand on what I've said during this reaction video, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below. All I ask is that you be constructive about it. And with that said, this is your boy Jack. You all take care and I will catch you on the flip side.